All right, guys, welcome to something a little bit special here. So this is going to be some exploration on the July 15th, 2006 prototype of SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. So let's get into it. Here you can see the build date on there as well. You can see our test loading screen here. So some things to talk about for sure. Now, anytime I do one of these prototype videos, the first thing I always want to mention, like the first minute, is where do you get this? Because that's what I'm always going to be asked. So if you go to hiddenpalace.org, search WWE, you will be able to find this. So there you go. Now, okay, so let's talk about some things here. So first off, for the first part of this video, we're going to be playing it on actual Xbox hardware and just demonstrating how the build is when you play it without any sort of modifications or looking at files and such, so like presenting it how it is. So here we go. So now we're at the main menu here. You can see everything besides exhibition is grayed out. And if you also look at our main menu video here, you'll notice these SmackDown and Raw intros are actually the ones from SVR 06. Um, instead of the ones from SVR 07. So, like, in the Raw intro, we should be able to see Jericho in one of these shots. And then on SmackDown, like, we can see, like, Animal and stuff like that. So, these are different videos. So, I'll let the Raw one play out here, and then we'll go ahead and move into the next thing here. Yeah, you saw Jericho there. Oh, God. But yeah, look at all this disabled. So, I have no idea what difficulty this build's even on. It feels, like, kind of easy, but, I mean, we'll see. So, let's go ahead and dive into it. So, we go into Exhibition. You can see everything besides single is going to be grayed out here. Single no manager. So then our profile, we can't seem to create or load any profiles. We can select no profile or this pre-made profile zero. And here's your roster in the build here. So you got John Cena, Kurt Angle, Triple H, Rey Mysterio, and Shelton Benjamin with no render. <laughs> there you go. Now, in terms of differences here, I believe this uh, Triple H has different stats. He's overall 95 here. I think he was 94 in retail. So I'm sure something here is like different. I mean, I see he has 9.5 hardcore. I'm not sure if it was really that high in retail, but uh, so let's go ahead and dive into this. So for this first match, I'm gonna be playing as Kurt Angle because he has some cool uh, differences I want to show off here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna face John Cena just because uh, it's kind of like a little throwback to the uh, that pre-rendered trailer they had for like uh, E3 or whatever. <laughs> but uh, here you go, is our test loading screen again with our great dot. Now, before we go into the match here, a couple things here. I want to turn off DQ and count out for a very specific reason, which I'm sure you probably already know at this point, but if you don't, <laughs> it's funny because I talked about uh, this during my first part of my SVR 07 playthrough, which also it's kind of funny because uh, remember when I was doing my 06 playthrough, a prototype got released, and now when I'm doing my 07 playthrough, a prototype gets released. So can we keep that tradition going? Can we get an 08 one when I start my 08 playthrough? <laughs> All right, so here we go, Kurt Angle. So first thing you're gonna notice here is he has his old Titantron from SVR 06. And no entrance gear, so you can see the gold medal is not there. And that pyro we just saw is actually different from retail. In my opinion, it looks better here. Uh, the sound was kind of messed up on the pyro. It didn't really line up right, but uh, you'll also notice in this build, the sound in general is kind of weird. So we'll see some oddities like that. But it looks like we got no ring announcing either. So Lillian, someone turned off Lillian's mic, I guess. She dropped a pipe bomb or something. But uh, yeah, here we go. Kurt Angle's ready to go. Yeah, so basically for this video, um, I just wrote down a list of things I saw. Um, and some other people told me as well. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to present it. Now, I will say, and anytime I do one of these prototype videos, I do want to stress and emphasize these are not every single differences in the build to retail, okay? I'm not going to be able to find every single thing. So honestly, I would encourage you, if you ever have time, uh, get this build yourself, maybe poke around the files, play it, see if you notice anything I don't mention here. Then, you know, as a community, you can kind of like build a list of all the differences and get them documented online on something like cutting room floor or something. Uh, but here we go. So uh, John Cena looks like he has no Titantron. <laughs> Rip my man. And no entrance gear. Now, I was really hoping when uh, I heard about this 07 prototype dropping, I was hoping it was actually an earlier build because there's like footage from, I believe, like IGN where um, Angle and Cena have their 06 entrances, and I would really like to get my hands on uh, that build personally. But of course, I'll take whatever I can get at this point because, you know, prototypes, these don't happen very often. So when they do, it's, you know, whatever we can get at this point. And I will say, um, some people probably are expecting, like, groundbreaking, like, discoveries and recovered stuff from this. Probably not gonna get that. There is cool stuff, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's nearly on the level of that 06 prototype we got, where we got two full characters of Maven and Luther Reigns with renders. We don't got anything like that, unfortunately. So, I'll just throw that out there. 
And also, in this video, I should have the chapter set up, so if you just want to see certain things here. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll go through this here. I'll be showing you, uh, I'll probably play just this match with the, uh, default, uh, build on hardware. And then, I think we're going to be going into the messing around with the files to play the superstars you don't see on the roster. Uh, now, I wanted to release like a mini patch like I did for 06, the 06 prototype, where it would just enable everyone in the menu, but this build is like set up weird. I don't know if like the roster is somehow hard coded, but it seemed like whenever I tried to add people, it just didn't, it just ignored it, unless I forced the game to swap people over people. That was the only way I could get it to work. So uh, after this, we're going to be moving off hardware in the emulator, so it's a little bit easier, but here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and so I don't know if you caught that, but you saw it. for some reason it's Taz and JR at the commentary table. Now, I believe the reason for that is because um, Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler's models are missing from this, so I guess it just puts Taz there for some reason. Alright, so hopefully I don't lose this match here. Yeah, you can see the commentary is kind of like messed up. They're talking about weapons and stuff. If you root around under the ring, oh my god, five knuckle shuffle. So, a uh, couple things to talk about here. So, one thing, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, you'll probably notice when we start fighting again, that um, the reversal prompt font uh, color in this build is yellow for both strikes and reversals. Now, on uh, retail, it's red for strikes and blue for grapples. So, that's just like a small difference I noticed, but just to figure out point it out. Okay, we got a reverse Cena here. Keep your words soft and sweet. Yeah, there we go. Messed up sound. Oh, Cena. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I said like the difficulty feels like it's lower, but he's actually reversing everything. It's kind of funny. But I'm actually glad he threw me out of the ring because we got to go to the crowd here for probably the biggest thing about this build, to be honest with you. So look at that. You see those light tubes right there, folks? Remember when I did my 07 playthrough? I talked about how the tutorial videos show light tubes, but you can never use them. And also that pre-rendered trailer they showed light tubes. Well, guess what? The light tubes are here in this build. You walk over, pick it up. And hey, where you going, Cena? Where are you going, Cena? We gotta show this off. And then here we go. And there you go. It's got like particle effects. The sound's messed up. You can break it and then just grab another one. So that's the swing strike and then the weapon grapple. It's kind of the same as like the sledgehammer and the cane and stuff. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do Why? That looked weird to me. What on earth? Okay, Cena, we gotta show off these animations, brother. No! What is the AI like weird in this? What is he doing? Right, come here. And also, look at this. This drag animation is the one from 06. The 07 one is actually different than that. So that was kind of cool, I thought. Okay, apparently I found a uh, move that's missing an animation as Kurt, so uh, I guess I gotta restart. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Now, I'm honestly kind of scared to. Uh, <laughs> Grapple, but you can see another thing right here. Look at this. There is a glass bottle weapon in the crowd. Now, originally I thought that was a beer bottle, but I actually extracted the model. And it's kind of hard to see here, but what that logo on this says, it says juice. So it's a bottle of juice, I guess. Oh, come on, Cena. We got to show this off here. This one also has particle effects, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm like scared to do strong grapples now because what if there's more animations missing? Oh, Cena, come on. Give me that. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks so cool, dude. I'm gonna risk it. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember which grapple I did though. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> also, you notice you can kind of jump over the barricade at different angles here. I'm pretty sure in retail it auto centers you every time you jump over. So I'm, I I, I want to say that's different, but we'll see. Let me see. <laughs> like no sound on our weapons here. It's so awkward. My oh, God. Is he gonna leave again? I'm gonna get my light tube ready. I gotta show off that uh grapple strike as well here. It's just the same as like other weapons though. Oh, my god. And then there is the strike when they're on the ground, so this one. <laughs> right, I'm trying to look at my list here and I gotta show off as much as I can here. I mean I have multiple matches to show off things, so. Give me that, my man. Yeah. <laughs> but the commentary is like gone for some reason too. Like <laughs> they were saying some things before, but got like nothing here now. Oh! Oh wow, that reversal looked so misaligned. What was that? <laughs> Okay, 
that. I need to get that table here. There's something to show off with that. Oh, I thought Cena was going for a light too. Was like, are you kidding me, man? Like the trailer? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Hit Cena right in the knee, brother. Okay, so one cool thing here, which um is interesting, is you can actually stand on top of tables. Oh, <laughs> Cena actually did it for me. But yeah, you can get on top of the tables like an SVR 6. Now you can't run up them. You gotta do weird stuff like grapples like Cena did to me, or do a running grapple, so uh, you kind of fall on top of it. Um, but yeah, you can still get on tables. In my opinion, this should have never been removed from the series, because being able to get on top of tables is nice. You know? So if I do something like this, you can see I'm on a table, and then I can still jump off it like the old school games, too. So, pretty cool feature, I would say. I gotta keep using these light tubes. You know how long I've been waiting to use these light tubes? Ever since I was a kid getting this game and seeing those tutorial videos. And even the trailer, because they promised it in the trailer, but I was kind of skeptical because, you know, that's a pre-rendered video, but... Angle slam! Oh! But yeah, I, I want to try to get that, uh... Here, let's rip a sign here in the prototype. Give me that. Why do you have a Batista sign, my man? Oh, that looked so... What? <laughs> I haven't even tried that yet. I didn't have that, have that on my list. It did not properly rip. Oh god. I wanted the juice bottle, but we had multiple matches to use the juice, so. Use my SVR06 drag animation, brother. Yep. Yep. I guess you can't drag them into tables in this, or was I not lined up? Oh god, the big John Cena comeback here. Yeah, my commentary is just straight up gone. <laughs> JR left, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I will also include in this video a close-up shot of the juice bottle. Actually, I'll insert it right here. Actually, no, I'll, um... I'm not sure how I'll do it. I'll probably, uh, I probably already inserted it, but uh, I want to show you that label so you can see it better. Because it's kind of hard to see in-game. See if this is any different here. Yeah, I was trying to throw him in the monitor. Oh god, Cena. Surprisingly, I have no damage still, so far. But, uh, I think we can win this match here. Because I think I, uh... Well, actually, there's a few things to cover here. Pain? Oh, God. Okay, maybe this isn't on such a lower difficulty as like I thought. Because <laughs> he actually is reversing a lot more than I remember when I first played this. Okay, where are you going, my man? Dude, I'm so scared. What, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm so scared I'm going to find another strong grapple that doesn't have an animation. Or Cena will do one. Yep. How many times can one man miss this monitor? Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, without sound. <laughs> Alright, we've got another juice bottle. We bought some juice at the, <laughs> the food stand. Give me that. See if this one messes up too. <laughs> That's why I think you're sign, brother. There you up to Kane. Yeah, I gotta say though, the light tubes are so cool. I cannot believe those got removed, man. Oh! <laughs> Because the particle effects of them exploding are so nice. Yeah, let's throw them into the crowd, see if that's any different. Yeah, come here. Popcorn's still there. <laughs> yes! Sure, I have the moonsault in this game. Can I do a moonsault at this table? <laughs> Double jump! <laughs> Alright, I think we'll take just the ring and end this here. I'm looking at my list of the first things I wanted to cover here. Let's do the clothesline animation over the top. Yep. Where's my commentary, Cena? JR left. Like I gotta say, though, the table thing is nice, man. Uh, maybe I'll plug in a second controller and demonstrate like me doing a move to the table to see if it works, because it's hard to get the computer up there. Here we go. Let's, let's send this home. And go slam! Please don't be a rope break. I could just drag him, but nah, we're good. Cover. One, two, three. <laughs> Where's my sound? Right, so I believe this Kurt win animation is the exact same. Got our test loading screen here. Wow, this is so uncomfortable without audio. <laughs> I'm just sitting here in silence. 
All right, come here. Someone stole my gold medal during my entrance. Bring it back. Get over here. Oh, is just me or does that chair animation look different? Like weird. Like, does it normally wobble like that when he gets on? I don't remember that. Kurt Angle has done it with his light tubes. Yeah! <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, and also, I don't... I think I did, forgot to mention this. This test loading screen you see here. Now, um, all the loading screens in this build are just that same one. And it's labeled as Triple H, though, in the files for some reason. So, there you go. So, I showed off most of the stuff I wanted to show off. We still got more matches, so I can still get some of the stuff I missed. But before we switch to emulator to... Uh, Start using different superstars. I want to show you one thing here. So if you hold the uh, both triggers and both bumpers and click in the sticks, the game crashes. So I don't know if that's because like there's some sort of uh, like uh, debug menu that's supposed to come up and it doesn't work. But I don't know. If you do that, the game will crash every time, no matter when or where you do it. So there you go. So let's go ahead and move over to emulator and show off some more interesting things. Okay, so we went ahead and switched over to emulator so we can easily play as the people that are normally not selectable in this build. Um, now I forgot if I mentioned this or not in the first part of this video, but I wanted to release like a mini patch that enabled all the superstars like I did for the 06 prototype, but this build seems to be set up weird where like, I don't know if the superstars are like hard coded, but when I change the stats it has no effect unless I force it over existing superstar slots. So like, you know, your Kurt Angle, Triple H's that are in the build. But anyways here, so before we start, I want to talk about the characters or superstars that do not have models in this build. So if I try to play as them, the game will crash. Unless I do something like move their model from retail over the prototype. So, those superstars are The Rock, Stone Cold, Rob Van Dam, Chris Benoit, Matt Hardy, Taz, like the Legend version, Mr. McMahon, Jillian Hall, Psychosis, Super Crazy, Vito, Paul Burchill, Rip My Boy, Kid Cash, Gregory Helms, Mick Foley, Dusty Rhodes, Jerry Lawler, Jonathan Coachman, Umaga, Finley, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Bam Bam Bigelow, The Great Kali, Mankind, Mr. Perfect, Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart, Cactus Jack, and Dude Love. So they do not have models, so they will crash when I try to play as them. However, their stats seem to be there. Uh, their entrances seem to be in the files, so it seems like, you know, everything was pretty much set in stone at this point, what it was going to be. But, people that are in the game, there are some differences on a few people, so let's go ahead and talk about those. Let's just go in order here by superstar uh, slots or IDs, whatever you want to call it. So, first one to talk about here is going to be Motion Test. Now, this is actually Chris Jericho's old slot, so um, if we look at the stats, maybe these are supposed to be Jericho's stats. It has this high submission, so that could be the case here. So, I'm going to go ahead and select him, and then I'm going to be facing Edge. So, Edge actually looks different in this build, so it should be quite interesting. Uh, let's go to SmackDown, I guess. There you go, there's Prototype Edge in all of his glory. You can see the hair is different. The textures don't look finished, because he looks kind of weird, but... Maybe with uh, some cleanup of the texture, someone could uh, make that model look pretty good, I would say. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off DQ and Countout, because maybe I'll go in the crowd and uh, show off one thing I didn't show off in the uh, first match of this build when I was playing on hardware. But here we go, Motion Test versus Edge. <laughs> now, pretty much all the entrance files are here, and the same as Retail. There is one entrance that's a completely different motion I'll be showing off in this video. And possibly some small camera differences, but generally the same motion. I pretty much went through and watched every single entrance, so. But not everyone in this build has an entrance assigned. But here we go. Here's Edge. He has an entrance assigned. No Titan Tron. Missing Titan Tron for this superstar. It's Edge. WWE Champion Edge. Yeah, he's got his entrance gear in this build already, which is kind of funny, like, because, you know, Cena and Angle didn't, but he does. Prototype Edge has arrived. Look at the hair, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at the hair. Kind of wish I was playing as Prototype Edge, but I wanted to play as Motion Test because uh, there's something kind of funny about his moveset. Uh. But yeah, you can see the you know, Motion Test. Uh, it's just John Cena's model in the slot. Look at Prototype Edge. <laughs> Dude, I, like I want, I'm trying to decide what the thumbnail this video is gonna be. Like I, I would want it to be something with light tubes, but it'd be hard to get a shot of light tubes. Maybe I can come up with something, but. You know, Prototype Edge zooming on his face can be pretty funny. If I let Edge win this match, we could see a nice zoom in on his face with the win animation. Prototype Edge, there he is. Yeah, we're just gonna go in order and then uh, play matches, basically. 
um, with certain people that are interesting. Now, if I went through and I checked every single person, um, it's possible I missed something super small, but if they generally look close to the same, I'm probably not going to show them off here. Again, like I said, you know, maybe check out this build yourself. Anything I miss in this video, definitely, you know, uh, like, uh, let me know or get it documented somewhere. That'd be great. So that's what it's all about. But it seems like Edge's inside of his mouth texture looked messed up. It kind of looked uh, similar to the uh, eyeball texture glitch when you port an 07 model to 11. Alright, motion test. By God! So, what's funny about motion tests is quick grapples are just stunners. STUNNER! My God! So, if you watched my um, 06 prototype video, or I think in my NPC videos, I talked about this, how uh, usually superstars that get removed, their slots get used for like testing stuff, like AI test, motion test. So, that's what happened to Chris Jericho, unfortunately, because he was gone from the series by this point. So, it looks like he has used this slot probably. I would just, This is just speculation. Again, I did not work on these games, so anytime I speculate, don't take it as like, this is why this is, but... Uh, uh, yeah, by the way, you can see there's two Taz's at the announce table there. That's kind of weird because Michael Cole's model is missing from this, <laughs> I think, so. Uh, but yeah, anytime I speculate, don't take it as, like, the official answer. But, you know, I would assume, like, anytime they uh, update or add a motion or a move, they would use this slot to uh, test it out, is what I would think, but. I got armbar! By the way, I was looking weird when I was walking. What was this? Hold on. God, Cena! <laughs> <laughs> What's up with my the walking's like broken? Yeah, you gonna waste my finisher prototype edge? Come on now. Come on, you were my season character. Come on, man. I'm gonna go and store that. I guess let's go ahead and try to get to the crowd real quick. Also, in this video, I need to remember to plug in two controllers and try to do some moves on top of the table. Come here. Yep. Rip my commentary though. Taz is not saying a word. <laughs> There's two Taz's and they're not saying anything. Alright, let's see if we can do this. We gotta get him on the table here. There we go. And check out this uh, grapple here. That's a completely different strike than retail. It actually looks so goofy in this prototype build. Alright, you know what? I gotta do this. P motion test is going up. I'm testing the motion's edge. I don't care how nice your hair looks. I gotta test this motion real quick. Give me a second. Oh! <laughs> Was that the Shane O'Mac elbow I have? <laughs> It didn't even break the table. I broke my back though, apparently. Ah, my back. I'm so. Why didn't the table break? Did I miss her? <laughs> my back. Now let me do my goofy table strike. Got no sound. I'm going back up. Also, it seems like in this build, there's no. Like, there's usually there's a special camera angle when you're up here, but it didn't do that. Let's try something else here. Oh, it's the same move. No! <laughs> I'm not going back up a third time. I'm just going to hit him with a light, too, and probably go back to the ring here. I don't want to ruin that nice hair, man. Look at it. <laughs> it's just not doing anything, man. Right, let me test these motions real quick here. Okay, I don't know how long he's going to be on that table. I'm going to go after Nick Patrick here. I got to test the motions, my man. Gotta test the motions. I'm stalking him. Look at that. Stunner. <laughs> My god. What else does he got here? He's gotta be something crap. I'm kinda curious what his finisher is. I got a knee trembler as one of my strikes. Let's try it out. Rock bottom! Rock bottom! <laughs> Do I have people's elbow then? Is it? Yep. My god, motion test! Okay, is, is this like a glitch, or is he actually just staying on the table that long? Oh, there he goes. Hold on, I gotta test these motions real quick, Edge. Motion test elbow! Man, I really want Edge- maybe we'll play as Edge again in this prototype. Okay, yeah, his- definitely his mouth is messed up. It really does look like the eyeball glitch, if you follow my anthology mod. That happens when you import 07 models sometimes to 11. Which is, if it's the same glitch, I actually know how to fix it, so. <laughs> I gotta test the motion. Time. You know what's time? To control the moves in the prototype. I wonder what is behind quick grapples are. Let me try that real quick. Right, let me test this Russian leg sweep motion. Yep. <sighs> Yo, Nick Patrick is out, my man.
camera looks weird right there. Stutter! <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? When people used to hack move sets and play online and set like finishers as regular grapples and stuff. Oh, maybe I should try to uh, steal the steal the spear. Or actually, I think I'm dirty, so I don't think I can. Oh, we finally reversed. Maybe I'll go for a super dirty move. Test that motion real quick. Oh, my finisher right now. I, I really do want Edge to win, though. So if I lost this, I'd be kind of fine with that. I mean, I don't want to be having long matches, though, because I got uh, some stuff to get through here, but... Alright. Testing the motions here. What else we got here? Yep! I mean, speaking of uh, motions and moves, I will be showing... Uh, not all, but I'll uh, import the moves to the retail game and go to create a moveset just really quickly to see if we see anything interesting. Uh, I will be doing that. I didn't go through and, like, check every single one like I did with, like, entrances and stuff, so... Yeah. And also, when I was checking entrances, I also checked a majority of the season cutscenes. They mostly seem the same, which makes sense, because I'm sure that stuff is decided way ahead of time. Um, but a lot of them didn't have finished facial animations or rope physics, so, you know, that was about, like, the only thing that was the season stuff. Super dirty move. Oh, God. Edge is out in his nice hair. Pin this man. I wonder what motion test, like, just probably just a generic one animation, right? Oh, my God. Nick Patrick is, like, right in the camera. There you go. Oh, it just doesn't play one. <laughs> There's, like, some weird red bar in the top left. Okay. All right. So, next people up to show off here is going to be this unnamed slot. So let's go ahead and play as this. Now, what's interesting about this slot is it actually has two attires. So I'll be showing off both, but first the default attire. And the next person to show off is going to be Carlito. So Carlito actually looks different in this. And in my opinion, he looks way better. So get into it. So this unnamed slot. Go ahead and load him up. It's just some generic creator wrestler looking dude. And look at Carlito here. So you can see his hair is actually uh, much uh, different. Like uh, in terms of like size, I guess. Uh, and it actually looks more like his uh, retail render. In my opinion, this model looks better than retail. I never liked the 07 uh, 360 Carlito model, but I think this one actually looks pretty good, in my opinion, at least. So, let's go and dive into this here. Now, this unnamed slot, you might be thinking, like, what is this? So, this is actually Christian's old slot. So, he's replaced with some, like, guy that looks like a sample creator wrestler, or, like, just a creator wrestler. It's very strange. So, it would have been quite hype if, uh, you know, we somehow got Christian in this, but no, it's just some crazy wrestler in his slot. So unfortunately, that's not cool. But here we go. Carlito looks like has his entrance assigned in this build. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. In my opinion, this model looks better than uh, retail. I know definitely his hair uh, wasn't as big anymore by the time, like, uh, this era. So I guess that's why they changed it. But I don't know. I think the face just looks better in my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you think, too, I guess. But... Spit in the face of people who don't want to now be Now that's cool. not cool. The apple is ready to go. Yeah, dude, that would, that would have been so crazy if somehow Christian was in this build. But you know, uh, back in 05, actually, Christian, uh, you know, left and then he debuted at, I think it was Genesis 05 in TNA. And honestly, I feel like Christian, when he uh, went to TNA, became a bigger star and definitely got more respect. So... There's some interesting interviews where he talked about, or like podcasts maybe where he talked about like why he did it. And some good insight. But... Take what you want. Yeah. So like this, I got like the Dollar General version of Christian in this build. You better be cool. There's just some Creator Wrestler guy. <laughs> Do I add Creator Wrestler guy to SVR Anthology? <laughs> That'd be such a waste. It's just some generic dude here. And imagine me actually playing as this guy instead of Carlito. Now here we go. Carlito. Prototype Carlito. Generic Karate wrestler guy that thinks he's Christian. <laughs> For some reason he has glasses on that's it. Okay, now I believe originally when I, uh, po I posted about a few of these things on Twitter. I thought this guy fully had Christian's moveset. Now I believe that's one of Christian's like taunts, but... I don't think this is fully Christian's moveset. Uh, we'll find out here. I'll do more moves, but... Let's see. Because I think uh, I played as him off screen. I think like his finisher was the Northern Lights. I don't think he had Unprettier assigned. So maybe like it's a modified Christian. Or maybe it's just not Christian at all. But. Yeah, that drop to hold looks so weird in this build. Alright get him off. I don't know why my commentary is just gone again. 
It like works for one match in this build and that's it. Big drop kick. Yoda's out. Right, here we go. I'm keen off. Okay, let's see. Let's go behind him and see if we can do it on prettier. And I'll finish this in the front. Nope. Is there like a tornado DDT thing at all? There's nothing, man. I don't know. Maybe this was Christian and then it just got changed. It is his old slot. I can't confirm that. But, uh, yeah. Got Taz and JR at the commentary table. Just not saying anything. Oh, God. Also, Carlito, another guy at the win animation, so I kind of wish he would win. I feel like when I win, nothing's going to happen. Where's the alternate timeline where Christian uh, uh, just waited a little bit longer before going to TNA, so we got him in this game? <laughs> that would be nice. Alright, let's see what this guy's finisher is. Yeah, Northern Lights, okay, so... it's Maybe there's remnants of Christian, but it's not fully Christian's moves. Oh, I got him. <laughs> generic Cray Wrestler gets the win. No way in animation. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. We're going to check out uh, Generic Cray Wrestler guy's alternate attire. All right, so next up is going to be the alternate attire for Christian's old slot. So let's go ahead and play as that. Went ahead and switched over, and we're going to face the Boogeyman. So I guess he's listed as super heavyweight here, which is interesting. <laughs> now, yeah, Boogeyman does have a different model on this, but it's probably not what you're expecting. So let's go ahead and get into it here. So check these out. So, the alternate attire for that Christian slot is just a generic female crater wrestler. And Boogeyman just has John Cena, which I assume is a placeholder. Uh, so, because, you know, it seems like John Cena in this game is a, um, you know, like the default model or actor for stuff, you know, so to say. Cast member, whatever you want to call it. And then this generic uh, female crater wrestler. You know, it'd be kind of funny if someone took this uh, generic uh, female crater wrestler and, like, retextured her to look like that crater wrestler from the Candace storyline. And, like, use her as a character, that'd be kind of an interesting idea, I would think. But yeah, she's, like, a, her own... It's not, like, not separate crater wrestler parts, like, in the game. Like, this is just a straight-up character here. Alright, the Boogeyman. Antonio, Fake Christian. An show for you here we tonight. go. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I can't wait for the action to start. Just listen to these fans. I'm literally really playing as the same person, basically. It's just Oklahoma a different City. attire. They know they're about to see the greatest superstar yep, in come sports here. entertainment. Fuck yeah, to the Boogeyman. <laughs> I was thinking about just not including Boogeyman, but uh, I figure it is different, so we might as well. All right, time to see what kind of toys we got under the ring. And by the way, yeah, if I restart the game, the commentary comes back. I think it breaks after one match. <laughs> Saw some pretty nasty I mean, the commentary is broken, world, even man. if it's playing anyway, so. Control the moves! My god, generic Karate Wrestler woman. You, yeah, yeah, we need that America uh, outfit. <laughs> Retexture her so we can have the... I don't even know what you would call her if you used her in a mod, though. Just Magic Wand character? Because it's technically... Like, this is technically every character playable in SPRO 7 season mode, right? Because anyone can turn into her in that storyline. Anyone that's playable? Oh, God. Fate Christian's going crazy here. Northern Lights! Fuck, oh, yeah, look at the impact! Oh, cover! That was it! <laughs> and once again, no win animation. Alright, well, there you go. That was uh, Christian's old slot. Unfortunately, not Christian. Kind of disappointing, but there you go. So let's go ahead and move on. Alright, so next superstar to go over here. First one is going to be Blood Sample. Now, normally with this slot, this slot does exist in Retail SVR 07. The difference is, in Retail SVR 07, it does not have a model with it. I can't remember if it just crashes the game or loads the rock. But either way, he does not have a character file. But in this build, he does. Now, this is pretty interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and play as him. 67 overall. And our opponent is going to be Trevor Murdoch, who his model's different. But again, it's probably something you're not expecting. So let's go ahead and face him here. So here we go. Let's load this. Here we go. It's going to be pretty wild, actually. Yep. <laughs> All right. It's so a lot to unpack here. So first off, Trevor Murdoch, his textures are completely messed up. I think the alpha on it is completely messed up because normally there's like an alpha sweat map texture uh, and it's not loading properly. So he looks he looks pissed about it too. Look at his face. And blood sample is paparazzi guy or the camera guy from Molina and, uh, you know, Eminem's entrance, Mercury, Nitro, Molina. 
And this kind of blew my mind because uh, if you remember my SVR anthology mod, I actually made this guy playable. And at the time, I thought I was doing something kind of creative and cool. But it turns out this was already done way back in the day by Ukes themselves. <laughs> and the difference between this guy and the one I used or made or whatever you want to call it is this one actually has working bones. So I'm actually going to take this guy and put him, uh, replace the one I have in anthology. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Now, I will also mention with uh, Blood Sample, he has two other uh, models with him, but they're both just John Cena, so I'm not going to bother showing them off. So here we go. My low overall. Let's see what I got here. Operazzi guy. Messed up. Cursed Trevor Murdoch. Here we go. But yeah, you can see, look at his bones actually work. Like, he's an actual superstar. Look at, <laughs> look at him. Chop with the camera. Let's go. By God, the impact. Now, you can't DQ me, Rep, because it's part of me. Like Bob Orton's cast. Same concept, right? This man was so dedicated to photography at a young age, he had a uh, surgeon uh, attach a camera to his hand. That's permanently attached. And then he pays some uh, technology company just to upgrade the hardware every now and again. What? <laughs> I was bashing... <laughs> Paparazzi guys got exposed. Alright, let's go ahead and rematch that. Why didn't I kick out? <laughs> that, I just get... that was a no damage pin. I was actually mashing too. <laughs> What? Wait a minute. Should I try to pin him? Is, do kickouts just not work in this build or? Oh my god. Paparazzi guy just got exposed on live TV. Vince is furious backstage. Hold on. I'm gonna try to pin him off of one move real quick. I swear I was mashing buttons. Well, let me see. And it got reversed. Great. No, just, just don't break the camera, please. Oh god. My back. Yeah, I'm definitely putting this uh, version of... Uh, I'm not going to call him Blood Sample in Anthology. I'm just going to keep him as Paparazzi guy. Okay, Murdoch. I know you're, you're mad your textures are messed up. Don't got to take it out of me, all right? It's not my fault. I didn't do this. Get him off me. Hold on. Let's try this again. I'm going to try to pin off the clothesline. Okay, let's see. Let's see if there's the rare gray cheese. What? He got to kick out. <laughs> Why did I get scammed like that? All right, come here. It's time to control the moves. Pulling pile driver, by God. Yeah, and I think uh, to fix the commentary, I need to reset the game every time. So I think I'm going to start doing that. So we at least have some commentary, but I forgot. Here we go. Blood sample. Oh, my camera. Okay, Murdoch. I'm only 67 overall, my man. What do you want me to do? All right, you know what? It's time for an environmental grapple. Come here. Yep. Get this. Oh, Taz was like freaking out there. All right, come here. Get this cord. I'm going to plug this cord into my camera and stream the footage on the Titan Tron. All right, how about an environmental grapple taunt? <laughs> that could be the thumbnail right there. Yeah. Also, I think it's worth noting that... Uh, actually, I'm going to reset this count. I think in retail, S-Pharaoh 7 to cancel or stop environmental grapples and ultimate control moves, I think it's B, but it seems like it's A in this build. I think that... I probably should have went back and confirmed that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it is. And yeah, when I did that environmental grapple taunt, I kind of feel like in my um, 07 playthrough, I either barely or didn't do that at all, so... I should have been doing that more. I mean, there's really not much to say about it. It's just like a quick taunt. It doesn't really matter that much, but still. You know my playthroughs, I try to be pretty thorough about them. Go off stuff. All right, come here. Big chop with the camera. What are you supposed to do about that, my man? Blood sample is going crazy. Blood sample going crazy. Whoa, what, what's happening right here? Oh my god. Oh, I was hoping he'd actually fall out of the ring. <laughs> All right, come here. All right, finisher, I guess Northern Lights Suplex. I'm taking a picture right now. Actually, the position of that camera, maybe I, should, maybe I shouldn't be taking pictures. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Blood sample gets the win. And it looks like no win animation for him either. Um, You know something I just thought of? If his name's Blood Sample, can does this guy have actually have blood textures? Let's, uh, let's actually face him as the next person and bust him open. Let's try that. Alright, so I loaded up another match here, so I'm gonna attempt to bust open Blood Sample to see what happens. Try to do it with the light tube. And I missed. No! <laughs> He's now wielding a light tube and a camera. What am I supposed to do about that? Give me that. Where are you going? Where are you going? I promise not to hit the camera. We gotta test this, my man. Your name's Blood Sample. Live up to the name. Right, here we go. Oh! Look at all that blood! 
That's I'm trying to look at all that blood. Is there actually match. blood? The referee should step in there no. Why is this guy under blood sample then? I'm so confused. It's just getting good, JR. I thought it would just be Cena, you know, because Cena's like the default guy they use. And there is Cena models JR. in blood samples, like character move. files, but this guy is uh, labeled as the in-ring attire, which is why it loads this. Very strange. There's definitely, yeah, there's definitely no blood on him, so he doesn't actually have like blood objects or textures, whatever you want to call them. I'm so glad the WWE fans oh, God. are getting the chance. I'm going to smash the camera, ready? Oh, my God, the camera scene is an animal. He's an animal. Oh, no. Smashing the camera, look at it. Where's your blood? Where's your blood? <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I, I was curious myself, so I wanted to see uh blood sample if they actually bleed, so let's go ahead and move on. All right, so next people up, it's going to be Tori Wilson, who actually has a different model in this, and Mickey James, who is slightly different, so let's go ahead and dive into it here. Check out these differences real quick. All right, so first thing to note here is Tori Wilson, uh, her attire looks similar to SVR06. Now, also, what's interesting about this Tori model is it's super, like, low file size. Like, it's pretty low quality, so it, it's strange. Definitely, like, probably, like, a placeholder or something. And then Mickey James has blonde hair. Like, were they going for, like, Mickey James as Trish Stalker? Or, like, what's up with that? I don't really know, but let's go ahead and uh, play a match real quick. If they have entrance to the sign, I can't really remember. I've seen this test loading screen like 900 times this week. Okay, no entrances there. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here's a close up. You can see Tori is very low res. Her uh, facial animations don't even work. I don't even think the hair moves, but yeah, that's definitely the 06 attire. So, here we go. I guarantee the Rose City's going to get its money for. Oh, God! Learn that from Booker T, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think someone's looking for a weapon under the ring. And also another thing to note with Nikki James, her skirt animations don't work. So the skirt's just like an object, it doesn't move at all. There you go. So she's also not finished, basically. Yeah, this Tori is really interesting, man. Like um I, I was actually looking for two Tori Wilson attires for my anthology mod, so I guess I'm gonna add this one, but maybe I should try to replace the hair or um I don't know if I'd be able to fix the facial animations. I don't know if I know how to do that. But, or if this, uh, he's not for a like, could just use the 07 model as a base, I don't know, but I'll probably just end up using this, but it's kind of cool, though, for sure. But yeah, like I said, like, the, the size of her character file is so low, so it's super low resolution stuff. One hell of an exhibition here. Alright, come here. Well, that's one of my quick grapples? What on earth? <laughs> What else do I got here? I don't want like two minute matches like I've been doing. Okay, that's another one of those. Oh no, it's a different. Okay. There any taunts? Yeah. <laughs> looking for a weapon, looking for a weapon here. All right, come here, you psycho. I tell you, Mick Stratus, Trish James. Just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, Jr. I don't think most people appreciate right, what big chop block. Athletes, these WWE superstars right, I'm going to risk a strong grapple. Wish me luck. It got reversed. <laughs> I can't believe I found that one as Kurt that didn't work. Like, everyone else seems all right. I mean, Tori just got like 10,000 scoop slams, it seems like. Very different category. Got reversed. <laughs> no, my facial animations, where are they? <laughs> Okay, do we have like placeholder movesets or something? I don't remember them having Booker T's like knees to the stomach and slam move. <laughs> I wonder what my finisher is actually. Objective as I can. Ref, rope break. a good competitive matchup, then see a particular superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you play. It's weird not hearing like the one, two, three. You waste all your stamina. You really are a psycho. Well, who's the bigger psycho? Mickey James or me when I checked almost every single entrance animation animation and watched them all? <laughs> and most of them were the same anyway, so who's the real psycho here? You know what the difference between you and I-95 is? I'm just gonna go for a finisher. Oh no, she has the uh, X Factor. Tombstone pile driver! Cover! Seems like someone's having a hard time remembering. Remembering what? JR couldn't remember his line. Okay, so a lot of people don't have win animations, it seems. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because, um, 
uh, I, I always want to know in these old games, like uh, like the 360 era, I know the PS2 is different and easier, how to assign winning animations. Um, but it, it's tough, because like, it seems like only certain superstar IDs are allowed to have one in like the 07 through 11 games. But I think in like 2K14, you can just assign it to anybody, and it's super easy. But anyways, enough about that. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so next up, we got Shawn Michaels. And Eddie Guerrero, which I believe the Eddie model is the same, but there's some entrance differences. And I'm hoping in this prototype, his entrance is already assigned. If not, I'll have to move it over to retail to show it off. But we'll see. So <laughs> I've been restarting the game between matches now, so the commentary doesn't break. But here you go. So this Shawn Michaels model is heavily unfinished. You can see the eyes look weird. You can see like parts of the model where like the, the objects connect and stuff. It looks weird. Uh, maybe that Eddie is a little bit different. I don't know. It's hard to tell. The face looks kind of different to me, but I don't know. Let's see. So uh, <laughs> that Shawn Michaels is haunting my dreams. So let's go ahead and see if these guys have entrances. Can't remember. But yeah, this Shawn Michaels looks really weird for sure. It's definitely not finished. Okay, here we go. So, Eddie Guerrero, a couple things to talk about here. First off, he has his theme from SVR 06, instead of, like, the, you know, the classic Eddie theme. Now, uh, I'm not sure whether or not this Eddie entrance has different camera angles or not. Uh, maybe? I'm not really quite sure. Look at him go. The sound effects aren't working in the low rider. I don't know, some, maybe the face does look different, but then again, I don't, I don't really remember. Missing time trap of the superstar. But the main thing I want to show off was the different theme he has. Say hello to Eddie, boys. No, where is this man? <laughs> Eddie needs to steal himself a Titan Shrine. <laughs> Unfortunately, Shawn Michaels didn't have his entrance. <laughs> I know he doesn't have his entrance gear. This is like the only model in this slot. It's definitely like not finished for sure. You'll get a better look at it in game actually, like the full body. Look at him go. There you go, so that's a different Eddie Guerrero theme. And there's a couple more different themes that we'll be showing off. Probably a little bit later, because if they don't have a model in this build, then I gotta move stuff to retail to show it off. Or vice versa, move retail stuff to this, so... We'll see. But for now, let's focus on this unfinished HBK. To a sold out oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we have an Haunted Shawn Michaels. I'm gonna see that in my dreams tonight. Dude, look how weird he looks. Fuck yeah, he's got his moveset though. There you go. Blow, blow. Hey, come here. Back to watch for the top. I got my commentary back, ready to go. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge Man, I gotta say though, like anytime these builds come out, it's pretty exciting to go through this stuff. I know most people like probably don't care and they just like play it once, like, oh that's cool, but I like to like straight up dig through the files and look for as much stuff as I can. You know, it's it's fun for sure. There's Paul Burchel Cole. Dude, I would love to see an unfinished Paul Burchill. <laughs> His entrance is definitely done in this build. I watched it. It's the exact same. It's only a minute and I already got him orange. What is this cheese? I don't know if this video is really going to be that long, to be honest. I mean, we'll see. I feel like uh, like my matches have been short. There's like not too much to show off, you know? Like I said, I know some people are probably going to be disappointed. Like there's not like fully done, removed characters and stuff. But it seems like the roster was definitely set in stone by this point. No matter how beaten up they get. Like the stats are all there. I'm just gonna pin him. Cover! Unfinished Shawn Michaels with the cover. Yeah, look at like the separation of like, oh, he actually kicked out of like his uh, body parts and stuff. But there is a uh, unfinished character that is honestly hilarious, which we'll be seeing a little bit later in this video. Which if you follow me on Twitter, I already posted about it, so you've already been spoiled. But it's actually really funny. 
I, I think though, when I first got this build, the first thing I checked was uh, Paul Burchill and Bret Hart slot. Both of them were not there and I was sad. So I wanted to see. Low blow from HBK and sweet chin music. Look <laughs> at Nick Patrick. <laughs> Oh my god, the unfinished heartbreak kid. Let's go ahead and drag him here. Cover! HBK gets the win. Alright, finally a win animation. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is going to look uh, pretty disturbing though, I think. Alright. No music, no commentary, no sound effects. I think everyone's just shocked because they like, is this really Shawn Michaels or like a, is he possessed or what's going on here? And he's out. I think Nick Patrick got out of there. He got scared of Shawn Michaels. <laughs> the unfinished kid. The eyes are the freakiest part. <laughs> From far away, they look all white, but I think there's a little bit of color. It's just hard to see in there. All right, well, he's done it. Heartbreak and triumph. All right, let's go ahead and move on. All right, the next characters to go over are, like, some of the few NPCs that are actually in here. A lot of them aren't, like, in here yet, so I'm going to go ahead and play as them. So, Stephanie McMahon, uh, she's actually overall 80 in this. Now, I believe in retail, I want to say she's, like... Somewhere close to this, I want to say like somewhere in the 70s, but I don't think she's in the 80s, so that's, I think, different. And then I'm going to be facing Teddy Long, so he's overall 58. Look at all those fives. <laughs> oh, I actually can't select him? Why? Oh, there we go. What? <laughs> Alright, that was weird. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, here we go. So, uh, I think Stephanie's model looks... Maybe the textures look slightly different, but it generally looks the same. I don't know. Like, to me, it just looks... Like, that's definitely, like, the same look and everything, but I don't know. Maybe it is, like, I don't know. Just something about it looks kind of, like, weird to me, but. Uh, so let's go and dive in. This. I'm assuming both these people do not have entrances because they don't in retail either, so. I doubt it, but let's find out. Uh, so we'll see if we notice any differences here. This one's not really as interesting as, like, some of the other stuff we've covered so far, but I figured I'd include them. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another sold-out Raw event. I don't know. The model definitely looks the same, but I don't know. Just the colors on it look weird to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. It'd be more interesting to do, like, a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, big slap. My God. My God. Yo, I'm aggressive here. I got, like, such an overall advantage, too. This could get ugly. Could get bowling shoe ugly. Oh my god. So JR. Is that even lined up right? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on more. My strike combo. I don't really remember like Stephanie's moveset in retail. I will be doing my NPC video pretty soon where you we do like an NPC tournament in the game. I have, as of right now I haven't done that yet, so it's kinda hard to draw a reference without having it fresh in my mind, you know. Right, come here. Oh, big stop. She's wearing heels, too. Oh, my God. All right, time for the finisher. What? This is my finisher? I wonder... <laughs> Did the, ro the ropes didn't even work. What is this? Oh, the heels, by God. <laughs> There's no way. He's probably going to kick out. <laughs> Teddy Long just got absolutely destroyed the high heels. <laughs> and no win animation. All right, well, there you go. I guess... I, I don't know if she has that finisher in retail. I don't recall that. But then again... It's been a while since I've messed around with NPCs in uh, it's 7 but uh, there you go. That was weird, though, how the ropes didn't work. Uh, quick match. We probably could have found some more things, but let's go ahead and move on for now. They keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. Uh, what's, <laughs> I was going to cut here, but... With this stuff, but I don't think I want to know, quite frankly. All right, they were still talking when I was on the main menu. That was really weird. All right, whatever. We're moving on. Alright, so next up we got Hulk Hogan. It looks like he's actually only overall 86 in this. I wonder if this is uh, more so uh, like similar to the 06 modern Hogan stats. Uh, but Hogan's probably the funniest character in this build, so let's go ahead and play as him. And we're going to be facing Ken Kennedy. So both of uh, these have some differences here, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Alright, so... <laughs> First off, these are guys are both clearly unfinished. Kennedy looks like he's made out of Play-Doh or something. 
And then Hogan is maybe more nightmare fuel than HBK. Look at those yellow eyes, brother. He's like rubbed bananas in his eyes. And you can't even see the funniest part because we can't see the lower half of his body. So let's go ahead and play and I'll show you. <laughs> Which if you follow me on Twitter, I actually uh, already talked about this. So, But if you haven't, you're in for a surprise here. So let's check out Unfinished Hogan here. Right, both do not have interest in the sign, looks like. All right, that's right. Hulk Hogan only has one leg, brother. <laughs> Hogan's lies are getting out of control now. He's claiming he was the first one-legged wrestler, brother. These fans are going crazy. Here we go. Look at Hogan. Oh, this is so cursed, dude. Like I said, you know, if you were around when I covered that 06 beta, there were some crazy discoveries in that, like completely different finished models. And like, but in this, we get like these. <laughs> <laughs> these goofy unfinished models and like slight like only like one or so attire differences you know so not really as exciting oh one leg superplex look at the strength brother uh not really as exciting as 06 i would say but it's still fun to go to these prototypes i'm sure some people in this video would be expecting like you know removed full characters but you know maybe it's possible with some earlier builds what is this camera <laughs> not the case here just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. Yeah, brother, maybe I should be turning back off DQ so we can use the light tube some more. Okay, I swear I did a different input, but I guess another superplex. Look at the strength, brother! That's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. This is so good, dude. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you Alright, it's time to control the moves. Look at the strength on all on one leg. This is very impressive. Ah oh, god. Kenny's not reversing like anything. What is this cheese? Big arm drag from the Hulkster. Alright, here we go. One leg atomic leg drop. He's about to drop the leg, brother. Literally, just one leg. <laughs> Not even the right one. <laughs> oh my god, Kennedy. Oh. oh no, it's over for him. Cover! Wow, these matches are like too easy in this. <laughs> Alright, so Hogan is someone with the win animations. There we go. This is going to be quite cursed. Jr. is still talking in the load screen. WWE fans agree with me as often as they do. I don't know how much more of this I can stand to listen to, Jr. There we go. Oh my God. He opens his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. This is alternate dimension demon Hogan. Look at him go, brother. That would have been kind of hype, though, if it was, like, a modern Hogan or something, but... There's some, like, cool modern Hogan mods already for 07 that look really good, but, you know... It'd be interesting to see, like, a completely different finish model, but... Not the case. Look at that. Look at him go. Look how strong he is! <laughs> oh, this is gonna look so weird. The thumbs up. Oh, not really. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything looks good, brother. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> All right, so next up, I got Davari here. Now, this is not a model difference. This is just going to be a different theme song. So uh, during the time of SVR 07, uh, he has Great Khali's theme music because he was managing Great Khali at that time. Uh, but in this uh, build, he actually has uh, the theme song he uses in SVR 06, you know, like the Muhammad Hassan theme song. So pretty interesting. So I chose to face Tony Chimmel, which, of course, it's still spelt wrong. You spelt it wrong in, like, almost every game. Uh, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and face him. So, this should be... I'll just have a quick match here. Looks like Chimmel does not have a menu post. Look at Davari ready to go. Pretty much just to show off the uh, Davari entrance theme. Now, I'm hoping he has a his entrance assigned this build. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move files uh, over to retail or retail to this or whatever to show it off. But either way, we're going to show it off. There you go. Missing Titan Charm for the Superstar. There you go. So, different theme song. They're booing this man. They're upset with him. He's about to fight Tony Chimmel on SmackDown. <laughs> Missing Titan John for this superstar. Staring <laughs> right into the camera. He's upset, man. There's my opponent right there. <laughs> It's gonna make sense he's already in the ring because he's not gonna have an entrance, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see.
Yeah, honestly, I'm really curious how long this video is going to turn out to be because it, I don't feel like there's a lot that I'm showing off, but I feel like sometimes I say that and I look at the video and it ends up being like an hour, so I don't know. My matches have been quite quick too, so I, I don't know. I still got more stuff on my list to go through here, so... Not much more, granted, but it's still stuff for sure. Welcome to a sold out SmackDown from San Antonio. Right, Chimmel. <laughs> Look at Chimmel. We have an exciting show for you tonight. Yeah, this is quite oh, exciting. Taz by himself the commentary start. table. Hate to see it. They really come by God, Davari, opening up strong. Big headlock punch, brother. Yep, ask him, ref. Ask him. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him, then he's gonna announce me as the winner. I tell you, Cole. I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I. Wait, did I just get momentum from him countering, or was I seeing things? Oh, big scoop slams a quick grapple. Let's go. get a huge advantage over their opponents. I can there. There's no way I win this fast. I'm gonna try it though. Oh my God, Chimmel. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna try for the yellow cheese. Here we go. Cover. Look at Chimmel's face! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the yellow cheese! 43 seconds, Tavari has destroyed Tony Chimmel. There you go. I just wanted to show off the theme, so let's go ahead and move on. Alright, so last music difference I want to show off here is going to be Rob Van Dam actually has his one of a kind theme instead of the Fury of the Storm song. So I'm going to go ahead and show that off here now. Normally this build, uh... RVD's entrance is not assigned, so I had to jump through a lot of hoops to assign his entrance back to his character slot. Uh, and I got it working. Um, the only side effect I see is I accidentally broke his menu pose. So <laughs> normally RVD does have a menu pose in his build, but I accidentally broke it. But also another thing I want to show off is uh, interference um, on. So that's why I'm facing Triple H because he's a stable member with Shawn Michaels DX. And I want to show you how broken interference is in this build, so I'll show you that as well. So again, in this build, normally RVD does not have an entrance assigned. Um, so I had to assign it back, but I accidentally broke his menu pose, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> it's the same as retail, though, so you're not missing anything. Rob Van Dam. Yeah, here we go. So the real RVD theme song. Not that unused Fury of the Storm. <laughs> Truly is one of a kind, boys. He's ready to go. You love to see it. Rob Van Dam. You know, I always talk about like who would be my top 10 wrestlers all the time. I think RVD is on that list. I mean, the theme song is no joke. It really was one of a kind. Innovative offense. Always fun to watch. That's right. And now, like I said at the beginning of this video, in this build, RVD does not have a model, so I took his model from the retail build and put it into the prototype build so I can use him. There you go. Uh, Triple H. I guess we'll watch Triple H's entrance. I believe it's the exact same as retail, though. The Titan Tron's, like, missed a line in this build for a lot of them, but, you know, still. Start game. Start part. Time to play the prototype. <laughs> Triple H is ready to go, brother. Can't tell RV to slow down. I'm gonna go too fast. <laughs> Triple H is focused. He's probably looking at those light tubes, brother. The mystery it will be on everyone's mind. Why were the light tubes and the glass juice bottle removed? I've seen some people like pose theories, but I think unless we get an official answer from somebody who like worked on the game at the time, I don't. I don't think we'll ever truly know. I. I don't really know. It's such a shame, man, because like they look good too. I mean, in this build, they're not finished. The only thing not finished is the sound, but still, like the particle effects when you hit them with it look nice. I like it. Speaking of particle effects, ready for this water? Yeah! <laughs> All 
All right, we got to get the win as Van Dam here because uh, got to hear that theme song again. That's really the only thing I'm showing off here. I think I might take this back to the crowd, though. I'm going back for that juice bottle. <laughs> that damn good he's one point higher than retail 95 overall here probably gonna reverse everything but also you'll see in this match how uh how weird and broken interference is <laughs> oh, i thought the game crashed for a second <laughs> but we're good we're good we got our test loading screen it's back the greatest loading screen of all time all right here we go Triple H, Rob Van Dam. I think the commentary is broken. <laughs> and there you go, interference. They instantly appear in the ring and they have no AI. So there you go, that's how interference in the prototype works. And then the ref tries to kick him out, but I don't think he's ever gonna actually leave. Yeah, so that's how interference works in the prototype. <laughs> so we get to see the unfinished heartbreak kid once again, the cursed Shawn Michaels. Wait, this means I can get three people in the crowd. I'm breaking the game's limit of only having two people in this build. I feel like he's not gonna like reverse or do anything. Taz is freaking out out there. Oh. Okay, I didn't know about that. Uh, is he gonna run out of stamina or is he just gonna run forever? <laughs> oh, the commentary's back. What is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. That shut that running noise is gonna get so annoying. I always love this uh, running chair kick thing. Oh my god. Alright, give me this light too. My god. Oh my god. Well, I did not. I honestly did not know about the infinite run thing. Van Dam's going up top. <laughs> My God! Okay, did, I think the tables are just broken or something because I tried earlier was in another match and I jumped off and the table didn't break either. Oh! The game just crashed. <laughs> All right, give me a second. We're gonna reload because I want to see the RVD win animation with the one of a kind theme. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully, we don't crash the game. So I'm just gonna face the moves, man. This time, we're not gonna mess around with that interference. I don't know what crashed the game. In that last match, if it was the interference, something in the crowd, a reversal with the chair, I don't know. But I restored RVD's menu pose. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just turn off entrances, DQ, and count out. I'm going to try for the, the juice spot on the crowd again, but if it takes too long, we're just getting this match. Because we're really just here to see the RVD with the one-of-a-kind theme in the, in the winning motion. That's really all we need to see. We don't need to see Shawn Michaels running forever or whatever. <laughs> what was going on with that? Alright. Rob Van Dam moves, man. It looks like my commentary is broken again because I didn't reset the game. You hate to see it. I'm going straight to the crowd. I'm looking for that juice bottle, brother. Acai Moonsault! <laughs> We're like 10 seconds in. I almost have a finisher. I'm not messing around, brother. I don't care how low your overall is. Yeah, I need juice. Trying to pay attention because they don't really hold out the weapons for that long, really. Where are you going? Where are you going, my man? All right, come here. RVD. Oh god, that looked weird. <laughs> man, keeps. I'm about to block this with a chair or something. I don't know if that actually works, but I just want my juice, man. I'm only going to stay here for maybe like three minutes max. If I don't get the juice, I don't get the juice. I already showed it off in the video. I just want to use it again. Here, I'll stand on top of this table with the trash on there. How about that? <laughs> I, I really have to pay attention though because the juice can come out at any second. Oh, well, I was trying to Irish whip and I accidentally did this. Alright, whatever. Where's the juice? Take a light tube. Umbrella, that's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. 
That's so weird to have an umbrella, though. Like, who would bring an umbrella indoors? That's what I want to know. Was it raining before you came in? You just happened to have it, or what? Oh, you know what I could do? Since they stay on the table for, like, six years in this build, I could just uh, do this and wait for the juice bottle. It's probably the most efficient way to do it. Unless you actually reverse. But then again, when Triple H reversed on the table, that's, I, that might have been what crashed the game before. I don't know. Come on, someone's got to have it. Yeah, I'm going to do a taunt. Rob Van Dam. <laughs> There's no audio, so awkward. Alright, well, I say only like two or three minutes, so. Rip the juice. We already showed it off in the video, so we're not missing anything, but I just wanted to use it again. Alright, come here, brother. Get in there. Alright, get up. Rob Van Dam! Okay. <laughs> You're like 40 overall, my man. How you doing this? Very right, nice. Is the classic RVD float over suplex. Big rope break, though. I just want my five-star frog splash, brother. Rob Van Dam! Alright, I'm gonna slow it down. Oh, this man has, like, such a low submission stat. I could probably cheese that. Okay. <laughs> my stamina's almost gone. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, moves, man. You may know every move in history, my man, but your stats are stats, brother. How are you doing this? Oh, he's like actually playing smart, too. Like, he's backing away from strikes and interrupting my grapples with strikes as well. I just want to do the real Rolling Thunder. There we go. Rolling Thunder. By oh, God. Yeah, got like no stamina. <laughs> This is gonna be like actual 07 where they don't stay down long enough for the five star. Alright, reversal fest, my man. You screwed me out of my juice, my man. I won't forget that. I gotta store this finisher too. Headlock for six years. Greatest move of all time. I'm surprised he's only yellow to be honest. Big. Alright, the four, of course, now. Wow. Uh, continue? Five star crashes the game. <laughs> That's something about replay. Okay, well, we crashed again with RVD. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna face somebody and job them out real quick. Oh my god. Okay, third time's a charm. Oh my god, I'm just gonna face Joey Mercury. Turn off entrances. Try to win as fast as possible. Without the five star, apparently, because I guess that... <laughs> I guess that crashes the game. Alright, RVD is just bad luck, I guess. <laughs> then again, I mean, it guess it kind of makes sense because he didn't have a model in his build, so maybe he wasn't fully tested. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite, I'm just speculating here, but. Okay, so we gotta win as quick as possible. No five star, Ladies though. Evening, Commentary's back. Portland, but we can't do some rolling thunder, Portland, brother. Oh, God. Dude, I'm kind of scared I'm going to find something else that crashes with Van Damme, though. Nowhere. I might have to steal Mercury's finisher, I don't know. Oh, we got a small package, that's a good sign. Let's steal one. The no there. Oh wow, some commentary actually works. Time to control the move, though. So, JR. Are you enjoying the match? Oh, yeah, the yes, strength I of RVD. I think these yes, I am, my man. How is he not reversing as much as the Moves Man was? Moves Man was like over like 40 something. I don't think it's happened yet. All right, come here. Environmental. Oh no, stair stairs there, wrong corner. Oh rip. Hold on, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Environmental grapples. How about we do the taunt with it? Even though I got a finisher to store. Sometimes I get exhausted. Everyone, check this out, dudes. Check this out. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing the five star though. I only steal his finisher. I have no interest in uh, risking crashing the game for a third time as RVD. Oh. And there I go. 
no dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, what am I gonna win with though? Either steel finisher, maybe small package, rolling thunder. I don't know. Stuff, but I don't think I want to know quite frankly. Quite frankly, RVD crashes the game, brother. Ask you who you want to win this matchup, Jr. But kind of scared to do any other top rope moves though as well. I'm trying to remain as yep. Big club to the back, the greatest move of all time. Frankly, I'd rather see a good competitive matchup than see a particular superstar win or lose this thing. Oh come on! Everyone knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. They delayed grapple strats. Right. Oh my goodness! EQ ref. More than I can say for some people. Oh god, this really can't end in DQ. That the WWE fans agree with me as often as they do. I don't know how much more of this I can stand to listen to, JR. Alright, big you know shove. The between you and I-95 is? The kill's just in the way. I was trying to do that uh, rope grapple RVD, like monkey flip thing, but... Like, I was trying to get Mercury basically in that position. Boy, what a match. Boy, what, oh, there we go. Even Rob Van Dam. What? Whoop. Have you got both your contacts and yeah, let's just steal his finisher and take this home. To me since the Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, maybe it's RVD specifically that's crashing it because it's retail model in this build. Maybe I can't do finishers at all. Okay. Fourth time. Let's run it back. All right. Can't believe we're doing this again. Fourth try. I'm just going to face blood sample here. <laughs> Win as fast as possible, do no finishers, and hope that he doesn't get a finisher and do it to me. Otherwise, the game probably will crash. <laughs> I mean, chair finishers work, but it says something about replay in the, the crash text, so... Um, I'm assuming... It says, like, replay bone or something. I'm assuming me using a retail model in this build, there's something that it's not compatible. Um, so... That's my theory, but let's just avoid that. No idea what, but here we go. All right, skipping all this. All right, come here. I'm breaking your camera, brother. All right, I'm using environmental grapple cheese as well. These fans are going crazy. They certainly are, and they're them. Oh my God! The Rose City's going to get its money's worth tonight. That went nowhere. That big eye poke, greatest move of all time. Kill it! Come on, my man. You're in the way. Are you enjoying the match so far? It's funny because I was complaining about like having short matches in this video, but now I'm getting like stuck on one segment here. Literally just trying to show RVD winning. That's it. And I'm struggling. All right, here we go. Van Dam things though. Let me enjoy it. Now, now, Jr. Keep your words soft and sweet because you may have to eat them later. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. Slowing down with the leg lock. Don't take pictures of me, my man. <laughs> Get the camera out of my face. Sometimes I get okay, I think results. the tap X to apply pressure doesn't work in this build because nothing was happening there. I was hitting X. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You got that. Right, maybe I should just turned off DQ actually to make this faster. Well, that's the name of the game, Jr. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Over. Lovely image, King. Do some RVD things. I don't think I want to know. Quite I don't right. even know what I'm going to win with, to be honest. Someone's looking for a weapon under the ring. This could get up. If you root around under the right, ring, just keep doing this quicker than Rolling Thunder, I think. Some sort or another. If I lived, I'm not even going to bother storing this finisher because I can't even use it. <laughs> Otherwise, get it risk crashing the game. It's almost. I could maybe use it for a possum pin, but I don't know if that would crash the game either. So. Seems like. All right, we got him. All right, finally. I think he would have counted just fine, JR. I don't know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> it just kicked me in the main. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is getting insane now. Hold on. All right. So another thing to show off here is probably one of the coolest things about this is Chris Benoit has a different entrance. Now, I believe uh, there are some videos of this entrance online from like some gaming outlets that showed it off. But now we actually have it. So... It's not like a crazy deviation from his normal entrance, but it is slightly different. So it's cool to have, you know. So here we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and just face Regal, which I believe Regal is the exact same here. So uh, in this build, Benoit normally doesn't have a model. So I brought over his model from retail. So maybe we should avoid using finishers. And um, his entrance normally is at the sign. So I had to assign it. And this time I did not break the menu pose. So let's go. <laughs> go ahead and check out this entrance here.
Yeah, pretty sick. I mean, Benoit's entrance was never anything like, you know, spectacular, but this is cool to have a slightly different entrance, man. Definitely going to bring this over to the anthology mod for sure. I said we would have more different entrances, but like this is like really the only one. And even then, it's not really that much different, but again, it is different, like slightly different, so I figured it's worth showing off for sure. So I, if my theory about retail models not working in finishers in this is correct, I'm just going to avoid using finishers for sure. And I don't even know if it's going to play Benoit's win animation because, you know, it wouldn't play it for RVD, so... Alright, Regal's ready to go. Actually, got his Tron. Benoit did not have his Tron. <laughs> Missing Titan Tron for the Superstar. The classic. Seen in various uh, builds of different WWE games. Regal has his entrance to sign. Alright, so I'm just gonna, like, there's really not much to say, because we already saw the entrance, but I might as well just play this match, I guess. Um, I'll just try to make it a quick match. And then we'll move on to a few more things, and then we're uh, probably towards the end here. Welcome to a sold-out SmackDown from San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio. an exciting show for you tonight. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I can't wait for the action to start. Just to one of these fans. They've really come alive here tonight in the Alamo City. They know they're about what, to see ref got hit by that? Stars in sports entertainment. All right, come here. Oh, God. I think someone's looking for a weapon here, Cole. They're my attack. It's right, so quick. Let's see what kind of toys we got under the ring. Got yeah, my broken commentary. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna hit some Germans, brother. How about a you, nice Cole, back breaker? I I this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that I already got him yellow. It's been like 30 seconds. So no! Can I can I continue or is it done? That, oh, Cole, I've seen oh, okay. Hey, let me continue. Good. <laughs> got some debug text there. No! <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely something up with retail models, so there must be something on there that is having trouble. So we gotta win this quick. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is gonna go down. Yeah, that's definitely gotta be what it is. Like, specifically, I don't know, but it's definitely caused by putting retail models on the prototype. I saw some pretty nasty stuff under the ring earlier, Cole. Hopefully there's not a problem then with the opposite of prototype models on the retail then, because if we want to like retexture that edge and put it on retail, hopefully it doesn't cause issues. I wouldn't think so, but then again, like I don't really know. I'm not a game developer. I didn't work on this game. Okay, we're gonna avoid using finishers here because <laughs> I don't want the game to crash. I'm just hitting backbreakers all day. I have like a sharpshooter or something. Oh, I got reversed. I'm not even gonna store this because I don't want to risk the game crashing by accidentally doing a finisher. And Watek. STF. All right, this might work. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I have like no head or leg damage. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier All right, sharpshooter, here we go. I should be able to get him here. Play the rules than you know oh, he's like really close to, to the ropes, though. Sharpshooter. What? It just warped him over there. Is it so wrong to ask oh, I forgot. It's stupid where it's considered like leg that damage as well. So to make. Can I just pin him off that? I think this will actually work. Cover. I just want to see if it's going to play the Benoit win animation. You know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means playing the rules a bit... Well, then, that's yeah, like a, a regular German. I might be able to pin him off that. A lot of things under the ring, and all of them hurt. Cover. The cover. Not being able to use finisher sucks. For the pin, Cole. This could be three right I got him. All right. Will it actually play the win animation? It certainly was a decisive victory. That pinfall left no room for ambiguity. Nope. You let your shoulders stay down on the map. No, nope, that must be. I mean, they're not even playable in this build, so it must not be set up. I assume so.
Well, there you go. That was the Benoit entrance. Really cool. All right, guys. So we moved some prototype files from the prototype build to the retail build. Just to show off a few things here. Um, so may or may not be that interesting. But so first thing I want to talk about is the locker room and some of the unfinished things. And one difference that was uh, pointed out to me. I didn't discover this. Uh, the Viper actually told me about this. So it's pretty interesting. So... This is my locker room. You saw my playthroughs, right? But this is my locker room if we replaced uh, the locker room files from the prototype. So not too many differences. You'll notice like some objects are missing. Like normally I had a gumball machine over there. It's gone. And if we go up here, you'll see some of these titles are just world heavyweight titles because I guess they weren't finished yet, I would assume. So like intercontinental title. Like these are all just the world heavyweight title. And my fish tank's gone. So, uh... What I want to show you here is, so like for collectibles, pretty much every like uh, poster and collectible just has this test data image. And what's really interesting is uh, if you go to the Steve Weisers here and we take a look at them, those actually look completely different from retail. So <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. So look at this. They're not Steve Weisers. It's Bud Wright. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is a rip off Bud Light or something, but... Yeah, so that was one thing noticed, but, uh, you know, otherwise, like, um... I'm not sure if this, uh, Money in the Bank's in a different spot or what, but... Uh, yeah, otherwise, like, pretty much everything is, like, like, test data stuff. So I won't go through all of it, but... Yeah, so you see, like, test data. And also, I, something I noticed, too, that's kind of interesting, is you see I have a, uh, King Booker figure. Even though it says Edge and Lita figure, like, it's... That's not what that is. So I guess the Edge and Lita figure wasn't done yet. Or no, they're actually swapped. They're both in the wrong spot. Because you look at the string at the bottom there. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah, I'm not going to go through all these. Um, I tried to see if there's any like unused banners, but it didn't seem like it. Uh, corner items. I thought this was kind of interesting. Like, why my gumball machine's out there? Because it's just locked. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I think it's really all... Actually, no, there's a couple more things to say here, so... Uh, I think maybe... I haven't... Never checked the loading screen manager. I think the strings are different. No? Okay. So, one thing that was interesting is the Superstar Bios. Uh, it looks like the pictures weren't done yet, so if I pick anybody... They're all just this picture of Triple H. <laughs> like, literally every single one, if I go to anybody, it's just... <laughs> Triple H taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make Triple H look weak. Direct order right there. But uh, yeah, that's really all I want to talk about in the locker room. Maybe there's some other differences, but I thought those were the ones worth talking about. Uh, I guess, you know, what I didn't do is to go to the shop zone thing. I wonder if that's different. I'll check that out real quick. Uh, I don't really see anything different here. It's kind of funny because like it says like or like dumb machine unlocked, but it's like locked. I'm assuming because it wasn't done. Not sure. Yeah, it's possible there's some other slight differences here, but uh, I thought that was the funny one to talk about. So there you go. So we're gonna check out one more thing in the retail build with the prototype files, and then we're gonna go back to the prototype and wrap up. All right, so on the retail build with some prototype files. So I wanted to go in and create a move set. So I moved over the moves files from the prototype. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one, so I don't really know all the differences. I just want to show like a few things. So uh, you'll notice like uh, a lot of these um, people that were in 06 but not 07 still have their names in here. So like, you know, Fighting Stance, Chris Jericho or Andre the Giant where like these are still in the game. Yeah, but they're like renamed to like... I don't know, like Giant or something. Like, like Christie's probably just like Woman uh, One or something like that. Um, you know, like Eric Bischoff, these people that were in 06 but not uh, 07. Just thought that was interesting, you know, like Stacy and all that. Uh, and then let's just go to finishers real quick. Uh, I noticed there were some moves labeled like with an 8 before it. I don't know exactly what this means. Um, I remember in the 06 prototype there was moves labeled with an X that weren't finished yet. So I assume that's how they uh, check to see like, you know, what needs to be done still. And uh, Johnny Nitro is dancing leg drop is just labeled as stars. I, I don't know, it's kind of weird. 
see four, my god. I don't know, maybe eight maybe need to be verified. I don't know, I'm just speculating here, but, you know, there's all these moves here. And whether or not there's moves that didn't make the retail build, I'm not too sure. Like, let's see, did these Eugene moves get in a retail? I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's Eugene Bites with the Y, yes. <laughs> Bite this, I guess. There you go, Eugene going crazy there. Um... But yeah, I know some people probably want me to look at this in depth and compare to retail, but I, I didn't really. If someone wants to do that for sure, uh, you know, do it and document it. That'd be pretty cool. But I think there was some in here that don't have finished animations. Let's see if I can find one. I think it was like one of these ones labeled eight or something. Let's just see. That one's not done. <laughs> Oop slam boogie pin. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know really what else to check. Yeah, finishers covers a lot of the category. Maybe diving moves real quick. I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see. I was gonna go to taunts, but it crashes the game every time for some reason, so let's just uh, not do that. <laughs> but there you go, that was... I think I'm just gonna end it there, because like that was just a quick look again. Uh, you know, I, I don't really know exactly like what's done, what's not done, stuff like that. I guess maybe we can check... Uh, Ground grapples real quick, and that'll be about it. Can you normally set this as a regular move? Uh, maybe you can. Oh, five knuckle shuffle is up there. Okay, now it's just normal. Um, darkness choke, the greatest move of all time. Eugene dog. I honestly don't remember if Eugene's stuff was even in the... Uh, 07. I'm sure if it was, it wasn't named Eugene something, right? They had to rename it something, I would assume, but... I don't know. If anyone, like, uh, expert on moves that wants to let me know if there was anything you saw there, maybe I can check it out, like, uh, post a small clip or something, but... There you go. That was just a brief look at the prototype moves list, so we're gonna move on. Alright, so, back on the prototype. I figured we'll just play as the remaining characters we have not, uh, seen. Um, now, I believe there's nothing different between them and retail, but I figured just for completion's sake, uh, unmodified version of the uh, prototype. So we saw Cena, we saw, well, normally we can't see Cena, but we did see him. Uh, we got Kurt Angle, we also saw him, we saw Triple H. So that just leaves Rey Mysterio and Shelton Benjamin. So I'm just going to play a match as those two, and then I'll just give closing thoughts, I believe. So it's really going to be about it. I guess uh, let's go back in the crowd one more time. How about that? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn off rope break DQ and count out. Here we go. Here we go, the last match, and then we're just gonna wrap up. Ray Mysterio looking confident, brother. Probably the last time seeing the test loading screen. Okay, this is awkward seeing Rey Mysterio's entrance without the actual Titan Tron. Oh, he's a World Heavyweight Champion in this. Guess that kind of makes sense, because then it would have went to Booker T. I'm glad I played as Rey then, because I didn't even... I don't think I noticed this. He's defaultly World Champion. Because then it would have went to Booker T when he won it, yeah. <laughs> Why does he have no theme, though? <laughs> Guess that's just life in the 619, you get no theme. This is so awkward. It's dead silent here. There's like no crowd reaction at all. <laughs> What's going on? I see maybe if my headset was down or but no. Because I, I heard the pyro, so. Ray Mysterio. Use those light tapes one more time. Maybe if we get lucky we'll see the uh, juice bottle one more time. <laughs> 
Well, if I'm cruiserweight, and if I don't know if Shelton's light heavyweight or heavyweight, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to strong Irish whip him. All right, there you go, Ray. Man's got no Titantron. It's not even the missing Titantron for the Superstar. It's just the WWE logo. Like, what on earth? <laughs> There we go. Shelton's got his theme, though. No Titan Trap for him either, though. Alright, Ray's looking in here. Yeah, I gotta say, it was very fun exploring this prototype. Uh, I definitely dug through it for a few days there, so... Uh, I always enjoy doing that. For sure. <laughs> Definitely some fun things, but I gotta say the 06 one was a lot more groundbreaking because, you know, actual full finished characters in that. I was kind of hoping we got that. I, it would be amazing if Christian was actually <laughs> in there, but, you know, we got scanned the crater wrestler in the slot, so. I'm always staying vigilant, though. Anytime one of these betas drops, you will see me here. <laughs> Even if years down the line, I'm like 70 years old and someone finally uploads like a earlier build, I will be there, folks. <laughs> You'll see an old man coming through, digging through the files. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny because like these betas being released are like completely unpredictable. Like you don't know who has these. Like I guess really the worst case scenario is if like private collectors have them, they just sit on someone's shelf collecting dust instead of like being uploaded for people to dig through the files. Or I guess even worse than that would be if someone like, is a private collector who knows nothing about modding, so they never dig through the files themselves and it just sits on a shelf. That would be horrible. <laughs> All right, I'm going to the crowd. All right, Nick Patrick out of the way. I say moonsault. There's Paul Birchall Cole. All right, who's got juice? <laughs> Taking this to the crowd. By God. Yeah, I need a light too. Oh, okay. I think I accidentally moved over too much. Where, where are you going, my man? <laughs> I'm getting a light too, Brady. By God, man, that's so much fun. I really wish that was in retail, dude. That was a textbook, oh, textbook Paul Burchill from Shelton Benjamin. Classic arm wrench. <laughs> My arm! <laughs> Each of these competitors okay, rip up a title. That's not what I want, brother. I need that juice. One more time, I need that juice. An injured superstar like a oh! Animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means oh, God. Shelton's going to slow it down. Maybe I should just face blood sample. <laughs> and it's like 60 overall or whatever. Okay, Kane. You can't let your get this man off me. Big club to the back. Give me that. <laughs> I think someone's looking for a weapon here, Cole. Oh man, I don't think that was ever. Got him. <laughs> it's just so awkward without the sound. Right, I'm sacrificing all my momentum. I don't care. By God. Need some juice, boys. Yeah, I was trying to grab a light tube, but this goofball held their sign in front of me. All right, my friend Batista, that was for him. And that's such a low resolution. That's got to be different than retail, right? They weren't that low resolution signs, were they? Man, Benjamin's reversing a lot. Oh, my God. And the weight class? My man's cheesing out here. Ain't no stopping him. Dude, who's got the juice? I need it so bad. <laughs> I need that sparkling grape juice. <laughs> That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And if that means Ray Mysterio! Yeah, I love that animation, it's so good. <laughs> Fine, I'll take another light deal, do some damage on him. I mean, how long do I really want to wait for that juice though? <laughs> Big knee. 
but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. <laughs> how many light? Dude, I've broken so many light tubes because, like, when I first got my hands on this build, you know how bad I've been waiting to use these light tubes. I talked about it in the very first part of my 07 playthrough. I was saying, hey, if a prototype ever surfaces, we'll probably be able to use them. And guess what? <laughs> One actually did during my playthrough, just like at, in 06. Kind of crazy. <gasps> juice! Let me go! Let me go! There's a juice! Oh, I'm not going to get it in time. Let me go, let me go, let me go. No! Why, Shelton? It takes forever to get the juice. Oh, my God. Actually, maybe I should have made this two players. Because I said I was going to try to get two people on top of the table. I'll do that before wrapping up. I got Shelton. Why? I just wanted to use the juice one more time, my man. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, come here. All right, my man. Ray's just staring at him like, come on, man. Come on, dog. That, that swing is so much better than the overhead swing. Okay, I don't know if I really even want to wait for the juice. I'm just going to wrap this match up, try the table thing, and then wrap up this video. I'm, I'm not really showing off anything here. I already showed the juice. Well, someone has it right now. Where's the juice? All right, screw it. Peter doesn't carry the. <laughs> Alright. Get him off me. Actually, you know what I want to try? Let's see if they have the uh, environmental. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Young's actually reversing a lot of this match. It's kind of crazy. What I was going to say is I want to try the environmental, uh, like the weight class. Okay, I got to flip him over. I feel like this match is just so goofy. Like nothing's going right. Unless I can steal one here. Nope. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, DDT! So what I was saying is I want to try the environmental ring post thing, but the weight class one, see. If it's in this build yet. I assume it would be, but I'm just kind of curious. Oh no, I'm doing this. Maybe it's not. Taz mission. Control the moves! There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's do some Rey Mysterio things. And I missed. Great. Yeah, that's so easy to reverse. I talked about that so much in my 07 playthrough. Like, because the camera slows down, or the game slows down because of that camera angle, it makes it so easy to reverse. 619! Carlito? Prototype Carlito or retail Carlito? Alright, here we go. 619. Whoa, that didn't look lined up. What's going on here? <laughs> Can't even see his damage because the HUD's gone. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Rey Mysterio has done it. You know, actually, what's also interesting is I was looking through the entrance files. Uh, Shelton Benjamin, it labeled he had a winning animation, but when looking at it, it was just the generic win animation. So, not quite sure what that's all about. Maybe it has something to do with Shelton being playable in this. Like, they assigned that as his win animation. I don't know. Like I said, I want to know how you assign winning animations in this game, because it's not as easy as the other uh, WWE games, unfortunately. Alright, Rey Mysterio, no theme, gets the win. That's just life in the 619, though. That was for Eddie, who was also in this prototype build. Alright, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a second controller and try the table thing, and then we're going to wrap up. Alright, so I plugged in two controllers, got two people up on the table. Let's see if we can Boy, break it with a move. Match. I wouldn't even hazard that. So who's going to win this thing? What? Uh looks like the functionality doesn't work. So it looks like they definitely didn't intend for you to even get up here. It's just kinda like leftover. 
I mean, it makes sense because you don't, you, like, I mean, you can still jump off it, though, but you can't get up by just running up it like in, like, the classic SmackDown games. You gotta, like, do this goofy run grapple thing. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Man, close line. All right, guys, I sat here and waited one last time for the juice. There it is, the glorious juice. Let's do the weapon grapple. Juice! Oh, my God, I actually landed it. Oh, my God, it's so good. Oh, no. All right, I think I might as well show off also uh, punching someone off the table. So it's just kind of like the announce table and like the other games. But uh, so I got him up there and then just punch and do that goofy uh, fall thing. Also, you see that in like stages and stuff like that. But there you go. Okay, also, I do want to show breaking a table. So I'm going to do an ultimate control move through it. Um, I don't think we broke a table at all in this video. If it works. Oh, that looked weird. Like reposition the table. <laughs> well, let me try that again. <laughs> but move it like right here. I wouldn't go that far, King. There are quite a few SmackDown superstars who I'd love to have on Raw. Oh, come on, JR. I'm looking out for any juice because I want to do the juice ground attack, which I think is just similar to the other some ones. Losers from SmackDown. I will wait for the juice <laughs> as long as it takes. Oh, I ran out of stamina. No. <laughs> I've got to say, Jr. I'm really impressed by what I don't know what Triple H's ultimate control moves are. I'll just uh, wait for Cena here. These are some of the finest athletes in all of sports entertainment. I know that, Jr. Time I'm to control the this moves. This has been a great match so far. It has indeed, King. And I yeah, think like pushes the, the table back. I don't remember if it normally does that or not, but there you go. So I'm just gonna wait for one more juice bottle and then quit out, and I'll give my final thoughts about the prototype. I'm not talking about Cena either. All right, boys, we got the juice one more time. So here we go. Cena is going for the FU and he's going for that juice. <laughs> Just look at that glorious juice right there. All right, the juice ground attack. I think the last weapon attack we need. Come on. Somebody's got to take that away from him. Take that juice away from him. By God. It's all legal. Oh, Triple H is pissed, though. He likes water, not juice. Pedigree. Oh, my God. All right, well, <laughs> we're done here. I'm going to go back to the main menu and give closing thoughts. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for my main coverage of the July 15th, 2006 prototype of SVR07. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And again, like I said in this video, uh, really not like super groundbreaking stuff recovered from this. I mean, the light tubes are big and the juice bottle, don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, I think really the main... Uh, hype thing about these coming out is potentially like full new cut superstars but it seems like uh the roster is pretty set in place by this point looks like it's gonna load up a demo I'll just let it play uh but a lot of cool things i think the benoit entrance being recovered the alternate one is pretty cool i'm definitely gonna get that in the anthology the alternate tori wilson attire based off her 06 attire uh that's pretty cool uh getting that uh though it is like clearly like some sort of placeholder or unfinished because like her facial animations don't work she's really low quality hair doesn't move but it's still kind of cool to have um let's see what else um you know the unfinished miles are pretty hilarious like you know like <laughs> like it's Shawn michaels and hogan and all that stuff uh uh, what, the, the themes are pretty cool, but I mean, really not much more to talk about here. I mean, it's kind of cool seeing this demo, but like they're like barely doing anything here. Uh, I, I gotta say, I, the, definitely the star of the show is the light tubes, because it's kind of funny how like when I started my 07 playthrough, I talked about, you know, like how disappointed I was the light tubes were cut for the game. And, you know, even the tutorial videos, they uh, used an earlier copy that shows those light tubes in there. But uh, now I finally got to use them after all this time. It's pretty crazy, but, you know. There you go. So, uh, anytime you know these betas come out, you'll see me. I'll definitely uh, spend a few days going through them. And like I said, this definitely isn't everything. There's probably some under the hood things. There's some things I didn't even show, like uh, some of like the stage selection pictures. There's like placeholders of like the 06 bar brawl, but it's still it's still the 07 bar brawl arena. But they're, like there's some 07 or 06 left leftovers. Uh, like even some things like some legends, like I think Dude Love, like it says Mouth of the South for his uh nickname so like some stuff carried over like jake roberts and jimmy hart stuff carried over but uh but there you go that's really um as it's still talking <laughs> that's really gonna be about it uh like i said i strongly encourage you uh check this out yourself maybe you see some stuff i did not see uh get it documented we can get all this stuff there but there you go that's all the stuff i saw and wanted to cover for the uh prototype build so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time maybe another prototype drops i'll be here